Hello everyone, this is Andy Mello from Mello Fab. Coming back to you today. Told you I had some tech videos lined up. This one here, uh, commonly overlooked part when people are doing their clutch, uh, secondary service. It's just so easy not to grease it just because you want to change that spring and get it back on the trail. But here's going to be a few tech tips here on greasing and spring replacement and how to replace the spring without a compressor. Uh, so I'm going to go to the video and we'll show you a few little pointers here. Okay, here we are. You can see the spring is off of the secondary. Um, so I've done that to speed up the video, but I will show you the reinstall procedure without the spring compressor. But as the belt shifts up and down in the sheave, you see the as the secondary cycles, it don't just move straight apart, it actually rotates. So inside this collar, you will have some pins and some curved grooves that everything rotates in. And your secondary spring sets here. So as this rotates, the nut's tight on, on the threads here, and this is compressed. This will be fighting this. So you want the spring to move smooth inside the sheath. I'm putting slippery washers in this one, but you can see the cut in here is, is just, it's not real smooth. It frees up and then it moves better. So before I go back together with it, or when you're doing it at home, it's always good to take a, some sandpaper, or I'm going to use a buffing wheel on a die grinder, and just prep this up where your cup at the top doesn't bind at all. It moves real freely. And then with the slippery washers, whether you have them or not, just make sure this one is good even without the slippery washers, but it's a good thing to put them on for sure. But to service it, You'll get the collar up off of the secondary just like this. And you see this one's got a decent amount of grease in it. You definitely don't want to over grease these eccentrics, but I'm going to take each and every one of these individual pins out, make sure they're not stuck, make sure everything's rolling good, and then we'll proceed with the video at that point. Okay. As you can see now, the cut moves really smooth on top of the spring. I had to do some cleaning on the powder coat to get it to move real smooth. And far as our service goes here, we've got the collar cleaned out. Polyurea is what we use on this. You don't want to overdo it. You grease the shaft. Sorry for that skip there in the video. My film messed up, but I went ahead and cleaned all the old grease out. Now you can see the nice green polyurea color. Like I said, I've got plenty in there but not too much we're just spooging out everywhere and at this point you lube the outside where you got your o-rings nice and lubed and you'll just take the collar and you'll push it back down in place and then i'm going to get my slipper washers if you're installing these when you do your clutch work, if you're changing your secondary spring, put your plastic delrin down and then your steel on top so the spring won't dig into the plastic. You see how effortlessly the spring moves? And see my collar now just moves just as easy as it can. So now we're gonna go to the compression tip on how to use a Yamaha wheel to compress this all the way down where you do not need a spring compressor. Okay, as you can see, it's now time to compress this spring down to start the nut. 
and we're going to use this factory Yamaha wheel and this 30 inch tire some weight I'm going to bear down on it when you're putting a new secondary spring in especially if you're going stouter than factory it's going to be a little bit difficult to compress it however this is a free method that works pretty good I'm going to try to show you how to do it all in one motion and do the best I can at filming it okay as you can see we got the tire and wheel up on here I'm going to center it get a little body weight down on it And there we go, it's holding. Now we're gonna recenter it. We're gonna take our inch and a 13 16 socket on a nice impact and we're gonna hammer it down. Now the secondary spring has been changed without a compression tool. Alright, now at the conclusion of the secondary spring change and service, um, I'm not down in the tool at all. If you got the tool, that's great. I just wanted to show you how it can be done without it, uh, with stuff you have on your machine already. Um, obviously doing it by myself and filming by myself, it obviously looked more difficult than it is, but uh, if you're not trying to film or you have an extra hand, it makes it really easy. Uh, hope this tidbit of information helps someone out. They're wanting to do a little work in their garage and Turn some wrenches theirself. Maybe it'll answer somebody's questions. Have a nice day. Thank you.